There's many people out there who teach how to manifest receiving a phone call from somebody using the law of attraction. Yet at the same time, the law of attraction or manifestation only works if all of your energies are divinely aligned. But it's not always that easy for everybody to align their thoughts, their feelings, their actions, and learn to surrender, let it go to let in. That's why in this video, I wanna break down for you three most powerful ways, three biggest secrets to manifest a phone call from anyone you want, right? Even if they are ghosting you right now, it will still work and it can happen within 30 seconds. But what I've decided to do is on the third strategy or the third law of attraction method to make it a reversal idea. Meaning that if point number one and point number two don't work for you, the third secret is your backup plan. We're gonna dive deep into these methods, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, Namaste, Namo Himalaya. This is Sri Akashna here. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you three secrets to manifest a phone call from anyone you want. And it can happen within 30 seconds. We're gonna dive deep into it with the first method. The first method is the most basic one. It's the most foundation one. It's probably what you've heard other people speak about before when it comes to law of attraction or manifesting anything you want in life. And that is using the power of visualization. And so when it comes to visualization, what do we want to do? We want to take a little bit of time to silence our mind, first of all, to keep our eyes closed so we're not distracted by anything else. Always remember, where focus goes, energies flow and results show. So when we minimize any distractions, any interferences, and we focus on breath work to silence the mind, now we've got a clean sheet. When your mind is completely blank, we will open up a bright light towards the third eye. It's almost like you get to see a scene that is out there, that is your future self. It could even be 30 seconds in the future, right? But we visualize almost like a portal is opening up, of extremely bright light opening up at third eye. And then what we do is we see ourselves in the center of that portal. We may be sat there, we may be lying there on the bed, you may be sat in the exact room that you're seeing, you're, you're in right now, but you will see it as if it's happening right now. And then while you see yourself sat there, you're going to see yourself with the phone beside you. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take your energy, visualize your energy from this dimension, moving into your future dimension. So moving through your third eye and becoming the one that sat in the third eye. After you do that, what do you want to do? You want to just sit there, get on with whatever you're doing. You may be watching TV, you may be watching some stuff on YouTube. You just see yourself, you're there, sat there. Suddenly what happens is you see you receive a phone call and then you pick up your phone, visualize it, you pick up your phone and you look and it's the exact name of the person who you want to call you most. And the most important thing in this moment is to visualize and feel it to amplify the emotions. So in this moment you get excited, you get happy, you feel over the moon, you're on cloud nine, you're like, whoa, I can't believe it, they're actually calling me. Feel it, feel that passion, feel that emotion, allow that emotion to move through every cell of your body with that excitement. And when you amplify that feeling and you com completely amplify that emotion, fully blown wide, you become 
that vibrational frequency of what has already been done. And because the law of attraction works based not on what you want, but what you are, because you become the vibrational frequency of your future self receiving that call, the universe now hears the vibration and now feels the vibration and the universe will respond to your vibration with the exact scenario. So that is secret number one or method number one when it comes to attracting or making someone call you. This could also happen, by the way, if you're looking for a text message, you do the same thing. You visualize your phone rings, you see the text is from that person and it says the thing that you want it to say. The most important thing with this first secret and this first method is to amplify your emotions because some people they ask, how long do I need to do this practice for? You do it for as long as you can get yourself into your future character. You do it for as long as your emotions are wild. As soon as your emotions are fully blown wide and you feel it, you know the universe also feels it and the universe will always respond to your request. But the most important thing with method number one is after you finish that practice, that visualization, make sure to place your phone down and find something to be busy with. Don't keep looking at your phone. Don't keep checking on it because the law of attraction works. When you let go, you let in when you're needy and needing the phone call or needing the text message, it might not show up for you. Okay. So let it go and get on with another task and be fully focused and indulged in that task. And you'll be so surprised, right? Within a few seconds or within a few minutes, you'll see, bam, that phone will start ringing and you'll be like, what? Now, if for whatever reason you find it hard to visualize, which is some people, you find it hard to amplify your emotions. You find it hard to get into your future character self. Then you can try out method number two. Method number two is very similar to how we can send telepathic messages to other people, right? And what we do is it's by tapping into other people's frequency and creating the desire. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so how do you go about doing that? Actually, it's very simple. You will start closed eyes. Once again, you will calm your mind once again with breath work. You empty the mind. There's no distractions. You're in a silent place. And then what do you do? You still visualize that person that you want to call you or to message you or to text you. You visualize that person. But this time what happens is you become that person. So you don't visualize yourself this time. You, vis you visualize them and you become them. Allow yourself to start feeling like them. So actually, the more you know them, the better you know them, the more time you spent with them, the more you can get into their character and their vibrational frequency. Right? So just try as much as you can to become them. What do they usually do? Do that thing while you're visualizing you are them. Right? How do they usually speak? How do they usually feel? Allow yourself to tap into that field, that energetic field. So you become them. How do they usually sit? How do they usually stand? How do they usually smile? What facial expressions become them do the same thing. Once you become them, you have consciously tapped into the energetic field. It means there's a vibrational match between you and them. Once there's a vibrational match, when one energy moves, the other energy feels intrigued to move with it. So what do you want to do in this moment? Once you become them, allow yourself from their state of being, let's say, for example, they enjoy gaming. Okay. So you're there, you're gaming, you're visualizing yourself, gaming, sitting, how they would sit, dress, how they would dress, feel that vibrational frequency of how they usually are. And then come to a decision. If you're gaming, drop the controller. Come to a desire, create a desire to call you. 
go grab the phone. Go start missing you, your character. Go start thinking about you. Right? So have that thought become that thought that I want to message them. I miss them. Or I really want to call them. Right? What is it about? Why do you want them to call you? Start getting into that character. Then visualize them picking up their phone, searching the phone book for your name, then clicking the call button or the text button and visualize yourself as them calling you because they have something to speak to you about or they have something to message you about. Once you allow yourself that momentum and that visualization of you being them calling you, and what reason? Get on a phone call, make the call happen until the call actually goes through and they're speaking to you. Get into that moment, get into the conversation. What do you want them to say? What do you want them to text? Alternatively, in the same way, if it's texting, it's the same. Visualize yourself texting on behalf of them to you. How does it feel? How they feel? What response do they want from you? Right? Get into that character. And again, once again, once you have completed that whole scene of the phone call or the text message, what do you do? Come back. And once you're back, what do you do? Again, find something to get busy with. Set it and forget it. And remember, don't think about them calling you. Don't think about them messaging you. Just get on with another task and fully focus on that task. Right? Don't think about the phone call and watch the miracle happen. Now, if for whatever reason, this method is also not working out for you, okay? It's took a day, it's took a few days and it's still not working out. You can try the third and final secret, which is a very, very powerful way to make it happen. Because some people, they find it hard to visualize. Some people, they find it hard to get into that emotion. So what you want to do is you will need to find yourself a manifestation buddy or a friend to work with. And what you will do with that friend is you will speak to that friend, let them know what you want them to do, which is right. Any time in the next seven days to call you from their number. Now, what you want to do now is you want to go into your phone book and change their name to the name of the person you want to receive the call or message from. Say if you wanted a message from Sarah, then uh, you have a friend called John. You're going to name John. You're going to rename it to Sarah, the phone call that you want, right? The full name. If you want, you can even put a profile picture there if you want. Right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tell uh, John over the next seven days, sometime randomly to call you or message you. Right. If they're going to message you, then you probably want to give them the message you wish to receive from Sarah. OK, if you want them to call you, then that call is fine. It doesn't matter. Right. You just need them to call you, ring you. That's all until you pick up that call. And then what you want to do and when they you pick if you they are calling you when you pick up the call, they can just put the phone down. They don't need to continue the conversation. Otherwise, it's going to disrupt the flow of the energy because you're going to realize it's them. So how this works is very simple. Imagine now you've set this plan. You've changed that uh, name on the number. You've told your friend or your best friend or your manifestation buddy to work with you. You're going to get on with your everyday life. You're going to do what you need to do. You're not going to think about it, right? You're just going to get busy with work and whatever you have to do on your daily schedule. And while you're busy with it, out of the blue, what's going to happen one day, you're either going to receive a missed call or you're going to receive this call. You're going to see that profile picture. It's going to shock you. You're going to be like, what? Hey, what? Right? You're going to have a few moments of that. You can even receive a message. You're going to look at you and like, hey, did I just receive what? Click into it. Then you'll probably read the message a few, maybe halfway until you come to the remembering of, oh, it was me who typed it. But it doesn't matter. Because why? Because you were only looking for those first few seconds, that moment 
of real, raw, surprising emotion of them calling you. That's all you needed. Why? Because when it tricked you into that emotional or vibrational frequency of actually receiving the real call, guess what happens? You become it and guess what happens? You manifest it, you attract it. So these are the three ways to manifest any phone call from anyone, attract any text message from anyone using the law of attraction. Please do save this video, why? because it doesn't matter which method you use and it worked for you, once it works, I would like you to come back to this video and share your success story with the world. Why? Because we pay it forward, right? Because there's other people who's probably stuck in wanting to get their outcome and they need some help. The question is, can you help them? Are you willing to help them too? By sharing your success story, it helps other people's belief system and it helps other people's manifestations. This is your karma. This is what you put out to the world. So please do hit the thumbs up also if you enjoyed this video or you got anything out of it whatsoever. Also comment below, let us know which strategy you're using first, which one you're gonna try first and remember to come back to share your success story. Okay, and please do share this message with the world so other people can use it too. Other than that, if you're completely new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we are signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.